So the second part today we are looking at um, Uprising, uh, which which is the the last album that Bob Marley would record uh, and release while he was still alive. Um, throughout all this time, Marley is touring this 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 uh, his his new music, and um, he's traveling Australia, Japan. He's pretty much hitting the rest of the you know the wider world, um, and gaining popularity and success. Um, uh, amongst other things, Marley is named as a kind of UN ambassador. He was honored there in that in that way. Um, and I think in Jamaica, there's a growing appreciation of Mali because, of course, globally he was having an impact. Um, uh, but there's always still questions about who Mali is, whether Mali, you know, and, and of course, Jamaica, middle class Jamaica was was still questioning um, Rastafarianism. And because they were questioning Rastafarianism, they were questioning Mali himself, wearing dreadlocks and so on. Um, so Mali was not universally admired and universally loved. In fact, people had real doubts about it. So let's just go zim quickly through Uprising. Uprising, of course, you know the cover. Uprising has that 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 painting of um, a figure sort of rising up. It's a Mali Mali as a kind of mountain uh, rising out uh, from the ground. Um, first half of Uprising is. I wouldn't call it depressing, but it's it's really not. It's really tough. It's a tough articulation of just what the world is like, um, and and Mali Mali carries this all the way through from coming in from the cold real situation, which he's saying this is the real situation, bad cat, uh, which which is a little more playful and a little more defiant um, when he talks about music being the way to resist. Um, this, the social pressures and the social ostracization that happens to the Rastafarian. But then it, we get we and them, where he actually says, I don't know how this is going to work. I don't know how we're going to solve this. And then finally, we people have to work. So Mali paints the picture that it's not a good scene. Um, coming in from the cold, if we just pay attention to some of the verses, um, in this life, in this old sweet life, we're coming in from the cold, coming in from the cold. I guess one would have to think of coming in from the cold, the cold being the negative space, the space where things are not welcome. And of course, for Mali and the whalers, traveling through Babylon, traveling through the north, the northern climes are where are sort of uh, uh, antagonistic. They're sort of hostile uh, to, to somebody who is from the southern climes where it's warmer. But, but he's also saying we're coming in from the cold. Um, and we're coming into to something more positive, it would seem like. But it's a reference to accounting for the battles, the wars that we've had to go through. It's you I'm talking to. Well, it's you I'm talking to. Why do you look so sad and forsaken? Don't you know that when one door is closed, another is open? Would you let a system get to your brother man? No, Ja. No. Would you let the system make you kill your brother man? No, Drag, no. Would you make the system make you kill your brother, man? No, Jack, no. Um, would you make the system get on top of your head? No, Dread, no. Well, the biggest man you ever did see was once a baby, he says, in this life, in this life, in this old sweet life. It's a very tender song because, of course, he's looking at somebody and saying gently, why do you look so sad and forsaken? It's a Christ-like figure sort of looking at the people and saying, don't look so sad. It's your, there's sadness around. He says, don't let the system get into your head. Don't let the system let you kill your brother, man. Don't let the system get into your head. No, dread, no. Because the biggest man, whoever he is, the ever did see was once a baby. So he's saying, do not be fearful of these leaders. Mali is really speaking to Jamaica. Some people sort of said Mali is just doing this global reach. But Mali is actually speaking to Jamaicans and saying that the system is, is making us kill each other. It's making us destroy each other. And he says, that should not happen. That should not happen. Um, but, but, and, and then, of course, he says, um, we're coming in from the cold um, is, the, is the refrain. Don't you know when one door is closed, another is open, right? Um, And, and I think that, that declaration is his, his one sort of declaration of hope. It's a full song, but of course it has that, just that, that, that short sort of um, lyric verse that, that, that sits at the heart of it. Real situation, of course. Check out the real situation. He says, nations war against nations. So he's painting this picture. 
end of the, all things. Where did it all begin, he asked. When will it end? Notice Mali is asking these questions here. Well, it seems like a total destruction is the only solution, which is really damning, right? Total destruction is the only solution, and ain't no use, no one can stop them now. Ain't no use, nobody can stop them now. What is Mali saying? Because, of course, Mali is saying that the cause for these situations are the sources of Babylon, but he's actually ending it by saying, there's no use. No one can stop them now. There ain't no use. No one can stop them now. And it is still describing it. Give them an inch, they take a yard. Give them a yard, they take a mile. Once a man, twice a child, and everything is just for a while. It seems like total destruction is the only solution. There ain't no use. No one can stop them now. Is Mali saying that it's pointless debating, arguing questions, and that it is full-blown war? Or is Mali actually in despair saying there's no use? There's no use. We can't stop what is going to come. Do you know that nowhere in this song does he come out of that? The refrain is, no one can stop them now. No one can stop them now. And that's it. That's how the song ends. Uh, it's unusual for Mali not to find a path for hopefulness. Doesn't appeal to God, doesn't appeal to unity. He just simply says, total destruction. Is the only solution. There ain't no use. No one can stop them now. Bad card is very localized. He says, you're going you're, you're gonna to be tired to see my face. You can't get me out of the race. Oh, man, I've, you said I'm in your place. And then you draw bad card. Draw bad card means that you, you're playing a game, and of course, you get the wrong cards. And he's saying, you've threatened me. You've said I'm, I shouldn't belong here. Well, don't you do that, because when you do that, you're essentially playing the wrong hand. You've got a bad hand. Because, because that, that bad hand you're playing is going to come back to bite you. And then, of course, he declares what happened. Propaganda spreading over my name, he says. And so you want to bring another life to shame. He said, you're talking bad things about me. Bring another life to shame. He says, oh, man, you're just playing a game. For you, it's just a game. And then you draw a bad card, make you draw a bad card. But then what is his solution? Of course, at the end of the day, he says, I want to disturb my neighbor because I'm feeling so right. I want to turn up my disco, blow them the full words tonight. So the music is going to change this. The music is his resistance. And we're going to do it in rubber up style. In rubber up style. And out of that music, he says, we're guarding the palace so majestic. We're guarding the palace so realistic. Um, and then it's, um, but you're going you're, you're gonna to be tired to see my face. You can't get me out of the race, right? Um, so, so, so music then becomes his way of sort of declaring himself free, um, breaking out of the system and so on. I think Mali, I think Mali, um, Mali is pushing against the idea, of course, that he belong, he doesn't belong in this place, and and the accusations that he doesn't belong in this success and in this place, and even if he belongs in society, and he says the music will continue to push against that. In the next song, which is work, Mali says. Um, no, that we and them, we and them is the is the next song, and he says, and this is another of those songs where we think there's something kind of pessimistic, right? At this thing, it's easy because of course what he says is that we we don't know how we and them are gonna work it out. I don't know how we're going to work it out. Someone will have to pay for all the innocent blood, he says, that they shed every day. Children, mark my word, it's what the Bible says. Mm -hmm. We don't know how they we're gonna work it out, but someone will have to pay, he says. Um, then he goes on in the beginning God created every, Jack created everything given, he gave man dominion over all things but now it's too late you see man has lost their faith eaten up all the flesh from off the earth so dominion is given but because of the lack of faith and so on the man is destroying that which is given eating all the flesh from off the earth so he says, I don't know how we're going to work it out. I don't know where we're going to work it out. Um, and then he says, you know, I mean, I have no friend. He says, I have no friends in high society. I have no friends. Mark my identity. I have no friends. We don't know how we're going to work it out. Again, Mali doesn't find a way out. He finds no way out. He says, I don't know how this is going to work out. 
because they're too, the, the divide is too great that uh, they're trying to destroy, and I don't know where it's going to go. It's, again, pretty unusual for Mali uh, to get to that place. But then, of course, finally says, we Ja people must make it work in song work. Come together and make it work. And then the song is a day name. It's like a counting name. Five days to go working for another day, four days to go working for another day. Say we got three days to go working for another day and so on so forth. Work, work, work. We Ja people must make it work. We got to keep working. And that's about it, right? We've got to keep working. By the time we get to the next side, Zion Train is coming our way. The Zion Train, of course, is all religion. Um, which man can save his brother's soul? Oh, man, it's just self control. Don't gain the world and lose your soul. Wisdom is better than silver and gold. And then, of course, he says, so where there's a will, there's a way. Where there's a will, there's always a way. Zion train is coming our way. 2,000 years of history, he says, cannot be wiped away so easily. 2,000 years of history, black history, could not be wiped away so easily. The giant Zion train is coming our way. The soul train is coming our way. The Zion train is coming our way. Zion train is the hopefulness. It's the possibility and so on. Um, I'll just talk. So the, the, the album then ends... There are two, three songs, Pimper's Paradise, which is one worth looking at because it's one of those songs that just falls out at us because it doesn't seem to be in the larger picture. We could say that Pimper's Paradise is symbolic of the, the betrayal of uh, countries like Jamaica selling themselves out to tourism and so on and so forth. Um, but Marley's also talking about, it's a song that sort of challenges a woman. He's describing a woman. She loves to party, have a good time. She feels so hard, hearty, um, feeling fine. Um, she, she loves to dress up in the latest fashion. She's, she's grooving when there is no groove. It's, he's describing a woman who is drugged out, she's a woman who is struggling and so on and so forth. But he says, don't be stuck, stuck on a shelf. Don't be used like stock, S-T-O-K, S-T-O-C-K. Don't be stuck, that is for sale on a shelf, as well as... Um, be S T U K. Don't be stuck on a shelf. And he says every ego, every 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 need has got an ego to feed. Every need has an ego to feed. It's a pimper's paradise. That's all she was. A pimper's paradise. I'm sorry for the victim. He says, pimper's paradise. So there, Mali is using this language, which is which you, we have to read as. As, as, as a sexist language because, of course, he positions the woman as prostitute. That's the construction of her. And even if it's using her in a symbolic way for the idea of broader international and political polit prostitution. Um, but, but, of course, there is, there is a hint of empathy and, and concern for her in Pimper's Paradise. Um, in Could You Be Loved, you say, okay, is this a love song? He says, no, because, of course, the verse goes, don't let them fool you or even try to school you. We've got a mind of our own, so go to hell if what you're thinking is not right. Love would never leave us alone. In the darkness, you must hide in the darkness. It, you must come out to life. The Lord road of life is rocky and you may stumble too, so while you point your finger, someone else is, is judging you. Love your brother. Could you be, could you be loved? It's interesting Mali references a song, one of his first songs, literally, Judge Not was the first song he used. The I3 sing that line literally from the song that was released in 1961, 60, um, In that phrase, the road of life is rocky and you may stumble too. Um, Mali, please, don't let them change you or, re or even rearrange you. We've got a life to live. Only the fittest and the fittest shall survive. Um, and then, of course, he repeat, you know, the I trees re repeat, you ain't going to miss your water until the well runs dry. No matter how you treat him, the man will never be satisfied. Could you be, could you be, could you be loved? Could you be loved? And I think, so that question is not a love song. It's a song about, do we have love for ourselves? Can we be a people that would love ourselves? Because the world is not loving us, right? And so can we love ourselves? Say something, it ends repeatedly. Say something, say something. Forever Loving Ja is the final song, and it is, it is the final hope. It's the final hope. And I'll just read, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll just sort of 
share what I think is going on in it. He says, some say, see them walking up the street. They say we're going wrong to all the people we meet. But we won't worry. We won't shed a tear. We found a way to cast away the fear. The way is, we be forever loving Jah. We be forever loving Jah. There's an old one, Rivendell cried from me. I've got a, I've got a love of, of love, you see. So no matter what stages or stages, stages they put us through, we'll never be blue. No matter what rages, what rages, changes, rages they put us through, we'll never be blue because we'll be forever loving Jah. Because only a fool leans on his own understanding, misunderstanding. And what has been hidden from the wise and the prudent shall be revealed to the babe and the suckling. We'll be forever loving Jah. And this is a multiple verse, right? Just like a tree planted by the river of waters that bringeth forth food. It bringeth forth fruits. Everything in life has its purpose, finds its reason in every season. We be forever loving Jah. At the end of the day, Mali, rest in faith. Everything has its purpose, has a season. Quoting from the book of Ezekiel. The time for this, a time for that, a time for this, a time for that. So the, the, the call is, it is difficult, but praising Jah, loving Jah, is the answer to, to the struggle. So these are, these are the lectures that I hope we, we will have some connection with and so pay attention to, because I think through these we see that Mali's art is going through an arc. And of course, when he gets to this point where faith is the most important thing for him, I think it's the most um, articulate expression of his journey and his movement um, from one spot to the other. Um, this, these talks are completely inadequate to, to what is going on in the songs and so on, but I hope they help you to listen to the songs and to pay attention to um, what is going on in Mali's art. Um, music, at the end of the day, is still at the heart of it. Um, so, okay, be well, take care, bye.